Hey guys, it's India. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another crochet braid video. We are going to be talking all about how to get a seamless crochet braid installed. So as you guys can see here, I am starting off on freshly washed hair, getting ready to go ahead and do my cornrows. So normally for my crochet braid styles, I do anywhere from 14 to 16 cornrows. It really just depends on the style that I'm doing. For this style today, I believe I did 14. So I'm taking out a little bit of my edges right here. Um, just not too much leave out, but just a little bit around the front perimeter. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do seven braids on each side. So I'm just showing you guys here, just a little bit of leave out that I have. Leave out is of course always optional. You do not have to have it for crochet braid styles. But once I'm done with all of my cornrows, I go ahead and lock up that last piece. So I braid mine one into the other. And then I just use this beater to put that last braid up into the other ones just so it's locked in place. You can also sew it if you'd like to do that. I guess you could maybe bobby pin it as well. I just find that this way is super easy. The hair that I'm gonna be using today is the Kima Braid Ocean Wave. I already have a video on this hair on my channel. I will put it in the description box down below so you guys can go check that out for the review. But I'm just showing you right here how I split the hair. So that's one piece that came out of the pack. And I always split it into at least two pieces. And then I'm gonna take those pieces and put it on this little braiding rack that I have. I find splitting the hair in half before and then putting it on this allows me to move through my crochet braid style a little bit quicker. Now you guys can just ignore me cutting this here um, I know you guys saw it earlier so I wanted to just show me cutting it out it was for a technique I was trying but it did not work out so we're gonna be doing this one today so basically here I'm taking the beater and inserting it forward and then I am pulling one piece of the crochet braid hair through and then I'm going to use my beater again to bring the hair even further back so you can see here, I'm inserting the beater, I'm taking that piece of hair, I'm pulling it through, and this is going to just allow that knot to be further back and not right at the front. So you can bring it as far back as you'd like. I'm just doing it, I feel like, kind of like the middle of my head. And then once I've done that, I'll be able to actually tie a knot and then it will be nice and secure in place. So so you guys can see here how it looks and I'm just gonna start knotting it. So I kind of just wrap it and then pull it through, wrap it and pull it through and just do the same thing. You can do it three or four times just to make sure that it stays in place and then you guys can see what it looks like from the side here. So now you guys can see that I am actually on the same braid. So I am doing two pieces of this. So two halves is the way that I'm installing it. So the two pieces that are in the front actually equal one single piece out of the pack. But remember I showed you guys that I split the hair. So I am using those two pieces, which is really one piece on this one braid. And then this is how it looks in the end. So you're gonna do the same thing, pull it through, knot it about three or four times, and then it's going to look just like this in the front. You guys can see how seamless it looks. So even if you didn't have leave out, it would still look really good in the front. So now we are moving on to the part. I wanna show this part to you guys. It's super simple. Um, you're basically gonna do it the same way that you did those pieces in the front, except you're gonna make the beater go in towards the part. So you can see that when you pull through here, you're still pulling through one piece, just not all the way. And you're gonna loop that through this about three to four times and then you'll just pull. And so you'll see you'll have one knot on one side and then nothing on the other. And you're gonna do this all the way back for this side of the part. So put the beater inward. You're going to take the crochet braid hair, put it through the loop, and then you're gonna pull it through. So then you have the loop on one side, the two pieces on the other. Grab only one piece, loop it through about three to four times, pull it tight. And then that's how you do this side of the part. Now, 
When you get ready to do the other side, you're gonna wanna switch the way that the beater goes. So wanna make sure that you point it inward, like always go in towards the part. Once again, you're only gonna pull through one piece of the hair, just like you did on the other side. Knot it about three to four times because this is silkier hair. If it was more coarse, you could probably just pull it through and be done. But because this is silkier, knot it at least three to four times. And then this is what you're gonna be left with once you're done the part. And these are the final results, guys. I did not show you me like kind of flat ironing my leave out, but it was just a very little amount of leave out. I put a little bit of heat on it, girl, laid my edges, and then these are the final results. The seamless part really comes from the way that you tie the knot. So if you do it that way, you should have really great results whether or not you have leave out. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, turn your post notifications on, give the video a thumbs up, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.